Good morning, guys. Good morning. Today we are actually going out to shop. So let's celebrate with me 2 kg weight loss for the month of June. Yes, I was very too optimistic. Let me say too optimistic, thinking that I'm going to lose 4 kg of weight loss. Well, it didn't. The month's not over yet. Yeah, but honey, it's only left with a week. How how can I make it to 4 kg? But I lost half kg of that weight and i'm really really happy about that so today we are going out to shop um by the way let me start the vlog after you've passed this way i always like to keep my surrounding private so let me pass by the old way and i'll continue with the vlog anyways guys as i was saying today we're going out to shop for meal prep this coming week we want to try a meal prep but not the very traditional one where you have every plate served what you're gonna look for we're gonna look for um, is, what is it called? Bacon dish, but mm -hmm. the one that is disposable. Yeah. I still am yet to see those in Botswana. If you know I can get them, please let me know. It's basically aluminum foil put in something that is um that cannot be bent. I mean, do you know what is inside there? No, it's just aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum foil and they just put it. So you can put food there and you can always throw it away and everything. And you can always put food there, freeze them, and then come back to them and cook. So we're trying to have at least five meals for this coming week. And we are on our way to a store where we're going to be looking for those. My husband said he hasn't seen them here yet. I haven't seen them here yet. But I'm just hoping that I'm going to be able to sit in the village. If not, we'll just buy the traditional baking sheet that is made of metal. But I was, we're trying to really, we're trying to avoid to buy those. So join us and let's do this in celebration to, to KG. Even though what two kgs by the way it's four point i mean four point four right four point four pounds and let me mention that one of my subscribers i love that i have educated subscribers was a doctor she commented on my channel saying now i like that you are losing weight but for you it's definitely going to be a little different because number one you are not as mobile as other people that can be able to walk because of your no legs thing and i tried to work out and another thing that i noticed the calorie counting that they put is the standard calorie counting for people that say a woman should be able to eat 1600 calories or 2000 calories something like that for me i tried that i still gain weight so it shows me that 16 calories 1600 calories is a lot of calories for me it makes me wonder how much are legs eating because the fact that I, I don't have my legs, that means that they would have counted for a lot of calories. I mean, they have a lot of muscles. I mean, the calves, they have muscles, and even the legs them, themselves. So I definitely, I'm not counting calories, but I, I'm, I'm definitely lower than um 1600 calories but over 1200 calories so that's what is going on so it's, i'm still trying to figure out if we're a dietitian that can figure out how much i need please let me know in the comments i really appreciate it um it's very difficult for me to really figure out but i'm trying to eat as whole as i can so join me let's do this it's going to be fun i'm excited to really finally try the meal prep for the family of it's only for many of 10 because usually even though we are eight we will always have two more plates just in case we have a visitor as you guys know here in the village people don't come announced they come unannounced so join me i once felt i'm done with the defense throw back Climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you These meal prep things, they look nice, but they are, they are the same. I mean, they are, these are the real ones, the ones that I, I like so much from, um, but they are like $6. $6. Oh, do you think I should, I should buy them or no? Oh. Yeah. First store, we didn't find any. If we don't find it in the store, I don't think I'll find it anywhere. So what I think we are probably gonna do, we're gonna steal to the meal prep things with our baking sheets that we have already at home, and probably we'll look at the uh, containers and dish it up. I don't like that method. Honestly, I prefer where I just cook for the entire family, and we can just dish it whenever we want. Which 
I think we'll get away with it. I think we can do that since it's winter. We can just put those baking food in the fridge instead of in the freezer. That way it doesn't freeze. I've never seen it frozen. Let me know if I can freeze the baking sheet that is made of metal. I've never seen that before. So you guys, we are here at the mall here in the village and they took the spot for handicapped. And let me tell you, it's always, always pisses me off when they do that because that means we have to pack very far but it was very far to find a spot so what we've decided to do is that i'm going to be dropped off there and then we're gonna come back i don't know why people do that but some people just do that and yes you may say well maybe they're handicapped no they're not believe me when i say that um they're not handicapped people so i don't like when people when able-bodied do people do that so if you, you ever think of doing that please don't do that because it makes it very difficult for people like me so if we ever feel like cheating and taking that spot please don't i just think of this vlog and say now said it's very frustrating it really really is frustrating having to deal with that and yeah maybe there's a parking spot there someone just moved there honey yeah someone just moved we're gonna take that spot and it makes me sad when people do that because it makes me wonder like what if someone is really cannot walk that long so please if you're watching this vlog don't think of doing that finally find a spot i guess we have to go back my husband is gonna actually drop me here at the store and then he's gonna find a parking floor and parking far and then he, when we we're done i was gonna wait for him and it's gonna be like going to get the local car so anyways you get in here to buy some groceries and go to the boys We went to a store called Spa and that's pretty much what we got. It's a very common place here in the village that we like to go to. Sometimes we go to Choppy, sometimes we go to ShopRite, just different stores. So um, let me show you what I got. The first thing that I got are these um, baby maros. Um, these are called maros in my language, but you guys call them zucchini. My subscribers for sure call them zucchini as we call them maros. So these are baby maros, zucchini. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my recipe for my lentil soup as part of my meal prep to show you guys how I do it. So I love it with zucchini or some stuff like that. And another thing that my husband bought is this bread. I don't know if you can see this. I'm holding my camera. Is this one is is this garlic bread my husband likes it um it's, it's actually tastes good but i don't think it's the healthiest thing in the world but he loves it and then you got these um grapes and then another thing that he got is this jam here in Botswana, i don't know if you can relate we don't have jelly so for us our jelly is jam please let me know does jelly and jam mean the same thing or jelly is different we love love strawberry jelly back there but it tastes similar to jam but i don't know if americans call it jelly or jam and jelly are different please educate me another thing that we got are these um is this um ginger i use ginger for my a lot of my meals i personally prefer fresh ginger and then we got this white cheddar cheese i mean this is the family's favorite i don't need to talk more it's our favorite and then i my husband also he loves 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 raisins so these are seedless raisins that he got and then for my milk prep guys you guys know if you watch me for a long long time you know my love for beetroot i love 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 beetroot so we also bought beetroot i'm going to be using them also for my meal prep videos and then my husband is in love with this granola he eats it pretty much every day if not every other day for his breakfast we also got this jungle oats i thought i bought another brand so maybe i did not i don't know but yeah we bought this jungle oats if i find another brand i thought i did but I, they, they, this is the quick oats. I'm not a cereal person. So, guys, if you are a cereal person, please help me know how to eat this. I bought this. Last time, I hated it. 
but maybe i was eating it wrong i was eating it with tea but i've seen people eat with milk so please if we have any recipes that i can eat this i think in in, in australia they call them witabix here we call them v pigs or wheat i don't know whether it's w or v whatever but yeah this is what i have please please this when i eat this i lose weight so fast but here's the problem i don't like them but i bought them again if you know how i can enjoy them please hit a girl up and then i bought these these are mini bears for for this this is, there's a company here called bakers and i think it's british but i'm not 100 percent sure if it's south african let me know but i think it's british so they have these they're so smart these are the one of their favorite biscuits what you guys called um shortbread biscuits so what they do they put them in small bags for packs for kids and everything i think they are smart and my kids love this and also we got them in this brand if some more these are my favorite joshua my nephew likes this one but my kids also love this one me and michael we like this ones better so everyone has their own but i'm not gonna be eating this much at all because of my weight loss journey and then i we also got um i mean these days i guess they're in season now we're not having a hard time finding green onions surprisingly i don't know but here are the green onions and then my husband also he loves to make our kids the the what the this lasagna so he loved to use mozzarella and he got this it looks like this and yeah let me show you more of what you got and then we also got these apples in this family I, I don't like apples you guys know very well how much i don't like apples but i'm making it an effort to really have a fruit preferably orange or even apple every day but i don't like them but i'm starting to really try to really enjoy them and i'm not the only one my mom too does not like apples by the way and you guys know that we just finished we are, we are all still on like um, the harvesting season even though it's winter so this is our pumpkin uh, surprisingly our pumpkin looks like this it's not the same as the yellow one i don't know what's the difference but this is the one the organic um african i'll say or even asian pumpkin i don't know let me know if you you have seen this pumpkin in america i don't know so this is the pumpkin i use it for my lentil soup as what to thicken my food because i don't like those things like cornstarch and everything so pumpkin works very well or not even pumpkin but also you can use um butternut squash or sweet potato uh, for some reason since we have pumpkin i can use pumpkin and then i got this toothpicks we've been running out of toothpicks and then uh, my husband said he's making dinner today so for sure you know what dinner means this is um this is from a store you see when you buy from the store it's more expensive this is 138 pula um how much kg how much kg okay i don't know but yeah 2 kg 2 kg and this you see it's 138 pula which is like um 13 dollars um and then my husband for the kids he loves loves to buy to to buy them this and surprisingly i don't know if we could win i don't know if you guys are new here but um a lot of stuff that we buy from are usually coming from south africa as you see they have um, a competition now my question is like what if i was to peel and i win will they give it to me in botswana i don't know let me know if we've ever had to get a competition for south africa and did we win did they give you a thing i don't know if it applies to us but as you see it has a south african um currency which is a rand um and then i also got um this is a shampoo it's a new one i don't know if i'm gonna like this for my hair guys i like the anti anti dandruff thing two in one shampoo organic green tea and then we have sugar of course we run out of sugar but someone may say why do you buy the small one i don't know honestly it's my husband he puts i don't know but he keeps on buying every week he doesn't mind that's fine as long as he doesn't mind and then we also have this is this bakers as you guys see another brand for bakers you see another brand for bakers loaf of bread for the kids and for everyone and then also we got some eggs um not any eggs freshness eggs and then of course my husband is a baker and he does everything some brushes 
and as you see they were very cheap like like one dollar for two and then we also got went to another store where we wanted to buy some stuff where um we also bought these balls they are 14 dollar each is one dollar each and they, they are glass they're gonna work well for the kids actually i think they're gonna be for the twins and the other one that we have is gonna be for me and for michael and then or for anyone that want to use them and then he also bought this butter knife i mean we've been needing those butter knife for like a long time and then i want to bring back my baking i miss miss baking you guys so we got these um bread loaf pens two of them as you guys get two dollars I, I hope this does not come out honestly when i go to chinese store i'm always skeptical but they didn't know they didn't have the stainless steel one i don't know we'll see how this one works and then i bought this to make the kids muffins or something like that because i'm excited about doing this kind of videos because they um that's one of my favorites that i always always watch so as i was saying i'm trying this new um new organics the brand and that's that's what i was saying that i actually really enjoy being here because a lot of stuff that you'll get is organic unfortunately some stores from abroad they'll take advantage and they will teach i mean they will bring other stuff that is really not good but some most of most of the for the most part we really enjoy the organic lifestyle i'm here for a cheaper price and such a blessing and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna try to really let me enjoy these grapes I know you're gonna be like i'm disgusted by this some of my subscribers i never used to watch them but sometimes you see i haven't watched them i'll eat them i'll not die right mm. and people like to wash them with soap for fruit some people like to use water me i like washing them but once in a while you'll see me doing this i don't think i just assume that they clean them for me because I used to be so picky. But I was like, you know what? I have not died yet. But let me know if this is discussed to, to eat fruits without having to wash them. Anyways, because I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see my next video, Lord willing. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and my shop with me. Meal prep and everything. Give me ideas of meal prep. So what do you want me to make? what worked for you and don't forget to like this video just for 2 kg weight loss for the month of june let's see if for the month of july i'll lose another 2 kg for me that's great i'm not complaining but like i said in the beginning of this video if you know any dietitian if you are a dietitian and you know not a dietitian doctor or something like that so preferable around here where you can tell me okay now since you are short everything that's how to calculate how much to eat and everything that's good but 2 kg is something it's not something bad at all anyways guys let me go my kids are making noise outside i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next videos lord willing and god bless you bye bye